chapter one of the scientific cherry. Inside the shop was a cherry that formed a perfect sphere. Had you calculated its depth with a pie or its volume, you would have found that it was a perfect shape that was called a circle. Circles were usually fruit. Die! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hush, hush, hush. I think we've got to die there. Okay, well, I, should we swap out? Leave. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late now. No, I'm oh, going. Now listen. No. All right, I'll keep going. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, oh, so. Oh, oh, oh. It's because uh, I'm a woman, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's all right. <laughs> Chapter two of the scientific cherry. The circle had turned at once into an enormous sphere made of fruit. It was bananas on the outside, but cherry on the inside. And Jerry knew that if he ate it, he would pop his scientific cherry and become a scientist of such knowledge and worth that he would begin to rule the world through his scientific prowess and his table of logarithms, which he would use as a device to calculate more math Mathematical equations than anyone had calculated prior to Mr. Simpson, the man who <laughs> At that moment, in another laboratory, Dennis the Weaver realized that he could only divide his pies into two by taking a knife and slashing the pie in half. This made him <laughs> His knife was not sharp enough to actually finish the job, so he decided that he would use the Life in another way and kill the scientist next door to him. The man who he hated. The man who he hated him. More than anyone had hated before anyone had seen him and he was a very hate. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. 